Hey everyone, it's Super Duper's Delight here with another video for this Wednesday. I just wanted to um, give a shout out to some girls. Um, she has a really good channel and uh, I just wanted to say I do like her hashtag Nasty Megan. That was a good one. I may borrow that if you don't mind. Um, so this week uh, with the whole Trump thing I just decided to go back and revisit the genesis of the Megan Trump gate. I'll just call it that, okay? Um, so I went back and watched the interview where she goes on the um, Larry Wilmer show and tries to sound all like she knows what she's doing. She knows what she's talking about, all this politics, and throws out some political jargon and some point numbers and um, and all throughout uh, Larry is looking quite bored and <laughs> and like he's ready to move on to the next guest he is done with her um, and she gets quite impassioned in her delivery of her rehearsed lines where uh, and I've noticed this with her when she she does this in her body language when when whoever she's next to or engaged with the basically the person who has her focal point whether it's obvious or low key um, once she feels they start to detract away from her like their attention is waning or it's um, or it's going to something other than her. I've noticed her gestures become more pronounced. It's almost as if it's a way of trying to reel them back in to her via body language rather than uh, the spoken word. Um, it's just, just something that I noticed. Um, I observed. Um, I could be totally wrong though, um, but I'd be curious to know if anyone else noticed that. So, you know, drop a comment below and let me know. Um, you know, let's have a little convo. Anyway, so um, I put up this uh, video of, um, of Megan at the, uh, at the thing. So let's get this started. Um, it's quite funny. Uh, and I will replay it in slow-mo so uh, you can uh, have a uh, longer laugh. All right, guys. Take care. Bye. Yes, of course Trump is divisive. Think about just female voters alone, right? I mean, like, I think it was in 2012, like, the Republican Party lost the female vote by 12 points. That's a huge number. Mm -hmm. And with as misogynistic as Trump is and so vocal about it, right. that's a huge chunk of it. You're not just voting for a woman. Mm -hmm. If it's Hillary, just because she's a woman, but certainly because Trump has made it easy to see that you don't really want right. that kind of world. Yes, of course Trump is divisive. Think about just female voters alone, right? I mean, like, I think it was in 2012, like, the Republican Party lost the female vote by 12 points. That's a huge number. Mm -hmm. And with as misogynistic as Trump is, and so vocal about it. That's a huge chunk of it. You're not just voting for a woman mm -hmm. if it's Hillary just because she's a woman, but certainly because Trump has made it easy to see that you don't really want that kind of world 